Right, ladies and gents, Little Austin 7 here. Um, just come uh, direct from, I think about a six or seven year storage. Uh, we haven't had it running. I haven't even tried to get it running. It's gonna want the usual. Mm, there's, a, oh, there's a half a pint in the bottom there. Whew, yeah, that smells old. That's some age of it. It's got some age about it as that in there. Uh, so here she is. A very, very sensibly guided and reserved. I've taken some photographs of your plaque there. There's an engine number on the side of your block there as well. Uh, there's, I haven't gone through it yet, but there's an array of booklets and paperwork and all sorts of bits and pieces over there on the back seat of the car. Cobwebs are free. There's plenty of cobwebs inside. which I might take home yet because they fit in quite well at my house. A few cobwebs. Every collection has got to have a little Austin 7, isn't it? Even if you don't use it, and let's face it, most of the time you don't. They're almost unusable in many cases, bless them. They just want a little trundle around the village, don't they? That's all they want. But you've got to have one, haven't you, just to make up, make up your collection. So, uh, anyhow, just shut this down carefully, and I'll give you a little tour around the outside of the car. Uh, so there she sits. Funny looking little car. They're a smile car, aren't they? You can't help but smile at them. No matter where they are, on the road, on a transport, or on a trailer, parked up in a show field, in a garage, you can't help but walk up and smile. But they are a smiley car. So there we have it. So I'll take a few more photographs for you, but obviously the idea of these photographs and a basic video is that, to give you a basic idea of what, uh, of what we have, then it's up to you guys then to organize a trip I think to come down and make sure that these things uh, fit the criteria and, uh, and actually are what you're looking for. So I'll sign off and I'll take a few more photographs for you.